should just work the same as all the other web browsers. Um, right, so this is sort of ad hoc because um, at Wolfram Research, where I work, we are all extremely busy trying to finish version 6 and cannot be distracted from that goal. So I just like to say to all of my friends and colleagues at Wolfram Research, I certainly hope you're not here. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all well and good for academics to have completely pointless meetings in the middle of the workday. <laughs> if you can call it that, was uh, a, the periodic table table, um, which those of you who subscribe to the business oh. are probably getting a little bit sick of, um, considering the number of articles they write about it. So it is, yes, it's a table, you know. Um, and it's actually right here in Champaign, over in our office. Um, um, so this was sort of an accident. I didn't really, really mean to end up with anything like this, but we needed a table, and, you know, I thought we'd make a table. And, um, it was going to be a, a conference table. We actually had a meeting at it. Um, but the first and only meeting ever held at the periodic table table. This is John Bowles here. He ended the meeting by picking up a big chunk of silicon and dropping it on his keyboard and breaking a key. And uh, so I went back down, you know, downhill from there. Um, although this picture did end up uh, on USA Today on their website, immediately became a picture of Anna Karnakova. So uh, it was definitely worth it. <laughs> so, uh, many things happened, you know, I won this, uh, this Nobel Prize, life-changing experience, you know, I wouldn't give it up for anything. Um, Oliver Sacks, who actually indirectly inspired this table in the first place, actually came to visit me. And this is a picture of the great Dr. Sacks um, visiting the table. Um, and actually, so the thing I want to mention, so one, one of the consequences of this was that I ended up writing this column for Popular Science Magazine. Um, which I've been writing for the past uh, several years now. This is, an, oh, they scale it. It's interesting. Um, so this is, uh, it's sort of an amateur science type column, uh, but we try to do it in a little bit uh, of, a, of a dangerous way. So this is, this is making um, a phosphorus sun. I don't know if you're familiar with white phosphorus. It's, it's nasty stuff, but, you know, a good copy for, for this column. Um, uh, and and uh, so, not this month, but last month, which we can't anymore, but uh, what I want to tell you a little bit about was uh, um, how to make your own salt. You know, if, if you don't want any of that store-bought, you know, stale salt, if you want some fresh salt, um, uh, we did a column on how to do that, so, so uh, uh, chlorine gas, which blow into a pool of molten sodium.
two tables, and we have out, out on the, the table out there, which is not a periodic table, just an ordinary table, we have some of these uh, little uh, handouts that you can pick up, which has the URL on them, so you can... Yeah, phone call. <laughs>